to your point, it's not necessarily just done through regulation and bottlenecks and all of the challenges that they're currently doing, which, you know, from the political cycle looks like they're taking action. But what we do know, and, and, and so obviously your job and Tim, my job as the chair of Brick Picker is to, to basically advocate for good policy and what okay. actually attracts that investment. Okay. And I mean, you know, you've got a chart, which we'll bring up in the, in the YouTube um, sort of story here, number of investor loans for new homes, three months till May, 2024. Look what Western Australia did. I mean, it is off the charts in terms of the annual change of new supply coming into that particular market. And what did they do? They didn't, they made no changes to, to no grounds evictions. They understood that ultimately that would give them a competitive advantage and tens of billions of dollars of investment is flowing in. The capital's flowing in, the homes are being built, the jobs and opportunities are being put there. Like it is, it is ludicrous to me that we have to go through a cycle, a political cycle, where we have to make dumb decisions and then work out that our decisions are dumb and then come back off those dumb decisions and get the balance yeah. right in terms of what we need. Yeah, it's convincing politicians that you can't solve this problem with more tax is very difficult because it is the first thing they go to. But yes, you mentioned WA there. Um, yeah, that attracted extraordinary volumes of interstate investment over the past 12 months. And November last year, I was in Perth and I said they'd see a 30% house price increase over the course of the next three to five years. They've achieved that in about nine months. It's quite an extraordinary story of what's happened there. You know, that it's very clear to anyone looking 12 months ago that, that WA just stacked up on a capital growth and a yield basis for an investment. It, that, that dynamic has cooled very quickly, I think, in the past month, that story around house prices in Melbourne being cheaper than the established house prices in Perth. And a, a little bit of truth to that, Melbourne's going through a cycle at the moment. Government introduced a new tax, creates market uncertainty. While that one doesn't change the supply and demand equation, it is creating market uncertainty at a time when all we need is market stability and just seeing Melbourne come off uh, a little bit. Um, so longer term, we'll see that house price growth in Perth is unsustainable. It will slow. They'll quite possibly see a six to nine month period where house prices are stable or fall a little bit. The problem Perth has is just that underlying belief in themselves. After a decade of uh, post mining boom where house prices fell, they haven't seen that cycle where house prices increase rapidly for a short period of time, then stable maybe for a little bit, and then increase rapidly again. And that's what they're going to see. They're still significantly cheaper than what the prices are in Brisbane. Brisbane, of course, is a comparable market in terms of size and resources sector. Yet, West, average West Australian earns significantly more than the average uh, person in the uh, southeast corner of Queensland. So it's not until we get uh, Perth prices consistent with uh, Brisbane prices that they will have reached the end of that cycle. But we can see now that uh, increase in number of housing starts there are 50% higher now than what they were pre-pandemic in Western Australia, which is great. We're starting to see some completions, which is going to ease that acute rental shortage that they have. Even through that cycle, uh, they're not getting back to a market that is uh, that has an adequate supply of, uh, of housing. And you know, whether it is uh, ongoing mining investment, and I'm not talking about new production mines, I'm just talking maintenance of the existing ones, um, or the AUKUS uh, investment, which is going to involve a, a lot of housing sustained over a long period of time. And certainly, you can see the volume home builders in that market starting to shape up their businesses to service that market. Um, but yeah, Perth is what a yeah, Perth's eggs, the rest of the country's eggs, it's uh, consistent in this market as well. Running a surplus. Um, competitive advantage when it comes to cost of energy. They've got a lot going for them over there in the West. It could be a golden, a golden era for them for a period of time. 